to in the past, the only option we had for export and tracking data from After Effects to Blender was by using a big plugin called A to Blend. Until now, someone somewhere who knows how to code with a very good heart has actually created a code to solve that particular problem. And click on the first link in the description. Then on this GitHub page, download the file. And you are supposed to download two files from two separate links. Then open After Effects, click on File Scripts, and so install scripts. Then navigate to where you downloaded the scripts. And then just click on Open. Then you will have to restart After Effects for you to work. And if you're not checking the scripts section, you will notice there's a new option called Expect Export Composition Data. And double click on the project tab. Then locate the video you want to motion track. And then just open it. Then select the video. Then right click. Select track and stabilize. Then track camera. But after effects, you don't go through the video. Analyze the video to, in order to create a 3D dimensional camera. That has the same settings as the camera you used in filming the video. So make sure you click on render track points and then increase the track point size to a size that is visible. Then select three points on the ground or anywhere. Right click and choose setting line, ground plane, and origin. Now, this is very important. If you don't do this, you are definitely going to face problem trying to orient the camera in Blender. At first, I thought it was like an A to blend problem, whereby you manu manually have to set the orientation of the camera. But with this free script, you don't have to do it. Just make sure you set the ground plane origin. Right click again, then choose Click Solid and Camera. Then select the layers you want to export. Then click on File, Scripts, Export Composition Data to JSON. Then browse to where you want to save the file. Then make sure Export Selected Layers only is checked. Then click on Export. Then in Blender, press A to select everything and then press X to delete. Then click on Edit, Preferences, Add-on, Install, then install the script of Blender. Then just enable it, then save it and close the window. And if you now check in the Imports section, you will notice there is a new option. Make sure the resolution matches with the video resolution you used, then the frame rate should match, which is 30 frames per second. Then choose your output direction directory for your video file. Then change the file format to FFmpeg. Change the container to MPEG4 in settings. Then click on File Import After Effects Composition. Then navigate to where you save the file. Then after you import, before you do anything, press here to select all. And you should know that After Effects starts at frame zero. What was Blender starts at frame one. So in a timeline, you would have to offset the keyframes by one frame. There's Press G to grab it and move it one frame ahead. Then select the empty the camera is being pointed to. Then just scale it to a size that the camera would be visible to your eye. Press S to scale. Then click on the camera icon to go into the camera view and select the camera. And then click on the add camera icon. Click on background images. Click on add image. Then open the image sequence you use in After Effects or the video you use in After Effects. And just open it. Now press Shift A to add the 3D objects, and just press Play to check your camera if it is working, and you have it working. And then if you notice the focal length is fine, right. so we have to copy the focal length from After Effects by selecting the 3D camera, pressing Ctrl plus Shift Y to bring the cam to bring out the camera settings. Then go back into Blender and just paste it in. Then Blender will just update the focal length whilst maintaining the original camera motion. The A2 Blend plugin is great, but it's not free. And I don't like the fact that we have to manually set the orientation of the camera in Blender. An example I can show you is this. Both the camera's empty and the plane's empty to the newly created empty. Do you know what? Just something like off script at the moment. This like lingo um, uh, in Blender is is mad. Like it hurts my head. So. If you're getting lost with any of this and uh, you're struggling, you're not the only one because... There's, a, there's also a free option you can use on this YouTube channel, but I prefer this free plugin as it is simple 
and accurate. I mean, the only thing you have to worry about is setting the same scale. And it's not compulsory. If you are just going for a simple effect, you can just go away with the uh, motion track camera. I mean, we set scene scale in order to make objects, 3D objects, appear correct in scale when they are being imported into the 3D software. So if you are just going for something very simple, you can just go away with the motion tracking. That is the movement of the camera, which is the most important thing. And I tested it on Blender 3.8, the script, it didn't work. So right now, you would have, I think you would have to use Blender 3.5 for it to work properly. There's a workaround for it. What you can do is just save the blend file as a blend file somewhere on your computer. And just open another version of Blender. And then just open it like a safe blend file. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like, share, and comment.